Hey, this is Frank the Pest Geek, and I'm going to show you how we're solving a really difficult, one of the most difficult ants to control uh, in Florida, which is the big headed ant, and how we do this service. So, here is an exterior. It's on a column near the dirt, and as you can see, there are hundreds, thousands of big headed ants. I don't see a major worker. There is actually a major worker right there. See, there's a big headed ant major worker. So now we have a positive ID that this is big headed ant. But see the frass coming out of the column? So what, what that is basically is they will take other insects and eat them because they're omnivorous. They'll eat carbohydrates. Uh, they'll eat glucose. They'll eat proteins. Um, so, so if they take other insects, what that frass is basically is the collection of everything they've eaten. And then they pull it, push it out of the nest. The nest is inside. So what we're going to have to do in order to get this under control is we'll take our Max Force Complete and we're going to put the bait. And we're just going to put the bait around the property. You're going to shake it, put it around the property. It doesn't need too much, but you're going to put it around wherever you see the ants. And trying to ID the ant nest in the ground is difficult because you got to find the holes to know. But So you have to either get a positive ID or notice the nest or know where the nest looks like in the ground. And I have another video that I did on how to identify the nests, which I'll link to this. But we're going to, we're basically just going to shake. It comes out at the right measurement if you shake it around the property. And you can see there's just a lot of organic matter. Around here, you know, there's there's another nest. All the columns have nests. And just take it. Now, we already, okay, let me show you what this nest looks like. Remember I told you about the nest? Here's why you have hundreds of thousands of them. And those holes in the ground, there's, there's, the, there's the big headed ant with... Hundreds of thousands. There is the nest being made. Look at all that mud and stuff they're making around this palm tree. So unless you're coming back on a weekly basis and observing if they're taking the bait, we're going to find out now if they're taking the bait. If they're not taking the bait, is because they might be in glucose mode. You might have to install glucose and stations out here at this time because you're not going to control this with a simple Termidor, Fipronil, non-repellent. And if you use a pyrethroid, forget about it. You're not going to control this problem with a pyrethroid application spray out here. Um, so if you're buying an over-the-counter, oh, there's a spider. All right, so now you can see, look. There they are, taking the bait that I just put down. They're carrying it. Look at all the bait that these guys are carrying all over the place. That's what you want to see. That's the evidence that they're, hey, we're going to take this bait back. There is millions of nests ants, on this property. We're going to be coming back here for three to four weeks and seeing the collapse. And what you're going to notice is when I come back, Next time that we're going around this entire place, we're going to do a wide application all over like this, all over here to knock this out. We're not going to be able to do a simple one to three foot perimeter around this property and get the control. That's not going to happen. So we got to go everywhere now and make an application of this bait. And this is a pretty large property. Uh, this house is pretty big. It's a farm. Um, there's everything they could possibly ever want. And I went through a, a half a bottle of bait on this property already. And I'm going to have to get more. Because you're going to use, you know, about the label rate, which is a couple of ounces. I think two ounces. And this, this, the beautiful thing about this product is if you're shaking it like that around the property, it's going to measure it out perfectly. We've got our big jug 
of max force complete and we're going to basically make a perimeter application and we're just shaking it around this perimeter of this home to control the big headed ant you want to put it around mulch areas you want to be generous if you're going to be stingy with the bait you're not going to get the control you want to do a wide perimeter three to five feet around this property and shake it this is why this process of getting rid of these tough ants most people fail and the reason they fail is because they're going cheap with sprays just coming back and coming back and coming back and they're not getting it under control and remember this ant is an omnivorous ant certain times of the year they won't take this this bait they might prefer only the liquid sugar bait so we got to go around here and do this to get the control because it's not going to happen so you might use $20 of bait per application to get control for this client um, and that's what you're going to have to do. I see tech after tech after tech failing with big headed ants because they're not doing this. This is a beautiful farmhouse. I love this place. So we're going to come through here. So this is an actual, you know, you've got to use the bait. You've got to be generous with it. You can't be, oh, I'm just going to look at the, look at the, the trail right there. That's a nest right there. This place is like, you have millions and millions and millions of big headed ants. That's an entire row of nests underground. They're everywhere. There's the, there's the dirt coming out of the ground the where the bed. nest is. I'm thirsty. I'm getting hot. Okay. I'll get you something to drink now. Got my helper with me, but my helper isn't really helping much you know you've got the pets they don't want the spray everywhere you know this is the eco-friendly approach but the eco-friendly approach isn't quick it isn't an instant solution it isn't a knockdown you can't spray fripernel all the way out here you can only do a one to two foot perimeter around this home how are you going to control an ant infestation that's all over a yard where you literally have to treat the entire yard and use almost a, you know, 60 to $70 on this property worth of bait every week for three to four weeks to get a knockdown because that's what it's going to take. And then say, you're going to charge the customer $65 to do this service it, it can't be done and this is where the industry is failing to get control for clients where they're selling a one service fits all and when the client has a special problem like this then you need to come back and quote three four five six hundred dollars to solve it because this isn't a pass that once it's it, once it's on a property then you have to maintain it on a monthly basis you're not going to be able to do a quarterly you're not going to be able to do a bi-monthly and get, keep this under control. This is going to be a monthly account now where you're charging $85 to $150 depending on the size of the property. Um, you know, we just wasted about, well, I shouldn't say wasted. We, we, we applied to around this perimeter, about a five, six foot perimeter around the home. We just applied, you know, $30 worth of bait how are you going to charge $65 and the customer expect to pay $65 for this type of service and then they're going to have to do it again next week and next week says well you know you're just riding me along and you're never going to solve the problem I said this problem once you have a big headed ant problem this is permanent this is not going to go away there is they're not only I'm trying to control them five feet away from the house so that they're not a nuisance pest in the home but the reality is for acres and acres and acres and acres around this property, which is over 10 acres, there's big headed ant every square foot of this acreage. And you're holding it back. The moment you withdraw the product, the moment you withdraw, the pest pressure goes through the roof. 
Hey, this is Frank the Pest Geek with Nature Pest. And if this video has been helpful to you, I'm trying to get out of the sun because it's really hot out here today. But if this video has been helpful to you, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and leave a comment below. I will comment back and respond. This is Frank the Pest Geek wishing you a Pestacular Day. Thank you.